Hey everybody, Rat Rod Bob here with a, uh, another adventure into the car club community. Today we're in Salisbury, Maryland, on the eastern shore at the Wheels That Heal Car Club. We ask that you uh, give, if you can, to their charity. They do a lot of great work for a lot of caring and needing people. We also ask that you subscribe to our video and hit the like button. Thank you very much and sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, my, my name is Gary Leslie and uh, uh, this Dodge Charger, 66 Dodge Charger is mine. Uh, I bought it about two years ago, uh, two years ago in July. And the reason I bought it was uh, I had a car just like this back in the 66, 68 time period. Um, I bought a new Dodge Charger the night before they came out in 1966. And I say that because New Year's Day was the released uh, introduction on these Dodge Chargers in 66. And that was a Sunday. And in Indiana, you can't sell cars on Sunday. So I bought it New Year's Eve. And uh, four months after I bought it, actually six months after I bought it, I transplanted a Hemi engine in it out of a brand new 66 Plymouth HP2 car. Kind of a dumb move in retrospect. But anyway, so I drove that car while I was in the Air Force and uh, ended up in 1968. I wrecked it, uh, doing a little bit of street racing, which I shouldn't have been doing. And uh, But I was winning. <laughs> uh, good consolation. The car was totaled. But I salvaged the engine out of it and all the drivetrain I put in it. And uh, I, I do have that drivetrain. That's not the drivetrain that's in this car, though. This car is the original Hemi car. Um, I bought it uh, from uh, uh, Rick um, uh, Diversion Motors up in Wisconsin, somebody north of uh, north of Chicago, and uh, I bought it online, sight unseen. Except I had a good recommendation about Rick, and he told me about the car and everything he said about it was true. It was uh, uh, the restoration, the paint job, and all was was exactly what he described it, and. Uh, I've had it. We just take it to car shows and drive it around some. It's uh, the restoration's pretty old. It was probably 15 years uh, ago. Could be even more than that. And uh, it's been sort of a trailer queen since then, I guess. Um, but it's the restoration is really good. They went out of their way to make everything original. Everything on this thing uh, that I've noticed is is original. The uh, Carburetors or numbers, carburetors, the distributors, numbers. It's got the Mopar heater hoses, the date correct uh, uh, spark plug wires. And when they redid the underneath, uh, instead of putting disc brakes on the front, they completely refurbished the, the drum brakes, which are quite adequate for stopping it once. <laughs> and uh, it does not have power brakes, which makes it easy to adjust the, easier to adjust the valves. Because if you got power brakes, you, you can't get that lead valve cover off without taking the, the uh, uh, power brake booster out. So anyway, it's a uh, it's a car I had back in the '60s, and and uh, love it. It's uh, keeps you busy. Just anything, even the, the per, how perfect the restoration is. There's always little things that that can go wrong on these cars when they're uh, as old as this is, and uh, like window not rolling down, which you got to fix, or something like that. But by and large, it's it's a very solid car, no rust on it underneath, and uh, uh, as original as, as as I think you can get one. Thank you very much. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, uh, my name's Gary Leslie. This is my Dodge Charger, and we took it to Carlisle about a month ago, and it. Uh, there were 1966-67 Dodges Chargers in the uh, this class, and it, it won first prize. And uh, the Golden Commandos group, it's a Mopar group out of Detroit that uh, sort of specialized in Plymouth, actually, back in the day. Anyway, they gave it a Celebrity Choice Award, which is quite an honor, I thought.
Hello, YouTubers. My name is John. I'm from Princess Anne, Maryland, and today we're showing off my 1998 Rat Rod surf truck that's inspired by Big Daddy Roth from the 60s. And we're going to go around it. We're going to show you everything that there is to it. So the interior is done in 60s style. It's done in the, the, the white theme, uh, bucket seats, skull shifters, uh, old style uh, diamond pleated headliner. So what I've basically done is I've created 300 hours worth of body work. Uh, everything that you see at the bottom end of it is all hand sculptured and molded in. I tried to make it as 60s looking as possible. It's got uh, what it has in it. It has a 1986 first year 4.3 which was considered the original 350 with the two cylinders removed off the back end. I've put a cam in it, uh, 40 over bore. It pushes about 300 horsepower. Car is done in single stage enamel, not base coat, clear coat. It's been hand rubbed out. I came up with the idea with the surfboards because if you anybody remembers the old AMG model kits, they had what they called the Deoria back in the 60s, and it was an old Dodge that they converted to make it look like a pickup truck, and it had the surfboards on it, so I tried to keep the theme like the AMG models. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hello, YouTube. My name is Eugene Nally. I'm from Salisbury, Maryland. I'm getting ready to show you a 1970 C10 fleet side pickup. Um, I've had this truck about seven years now. I actually acquired it when I was um, working with a friend of mine who had it in his garage, and it set for a little while. We got together. I had an idea for it. And we got together, started working on it, and he pretty much gave up on it. So I had to finish it. And it's the best thing that ever happened to this truck and me. Um, we start out here with just a standard 350 stock engine with a four-barrel carburetor. I do not have any headers, any aluminum intake or anything like that on it. She is very stock. Along with the transmission, just a 350R transmission. Um, she runs great. This, this truck's run very well. We did lower it a little bit. I have a 2-4 drop on it, but I did not cut any frame, did not put any C-notches in it to lower it. Um, we did come up with a very unique color for it. This is an azure blue. It's actually a Pontiac color from the 70s. Um, I wanted to give something a little bit of class, and I really like the idea of dressing up classy, so I was trying to do the tuxedo look. So we put the azure blue on there and came up with the black rockers and the first thing I said is we need some spats on her. So I put some big white walls on her to give her that look. Um, it took me about two years to actually finalize the look for it. Uh, a gentleman said something to me earlier and, and it really caught me well is um, a vehicle talks to you. And that's what this one's done from the very moment I got it. It's just, it's telling me what to do to it. I'm not making the choices. This truck is making the choices for me. Um, I, I put a little bit of time on the interior. Of course, I've got some upgrades I want to do to it. Um, I did put the big white walls, as I said, on it and the chrome wheels. And what I do is I actually pop out the centers of the chrome wheels, and I can change those out. I do have spinners at home to put on it. I've got white caps to put in there. I've got black caps to put in there. So it does give it a different look. I've always said different wheels give a truck a different look. Back, I use this truck all the time. I work with this truck. I take it to the dump. I take it and use and put my lawn clippings in it and everything else.
but I have done a little bit to it. I did add a cooler to it from early 50s and painted it the same color as the truck. It's turned out very well. That cooler works better than modern coolers. It's very nice. Other than that, this truck has just been, she's garage kept most of the time, but I have no problem sitting it out. It'll be sitting out for the next week outside. Like I say, I do use it all the time. I get a lot of compliments on it, and I'm very happy with the look right now. At this moment, I really don't have any plans to change much. It has made me very happy. It's um, great to be in this situation to have something like this. I'm proud of it, but I'm also humbled by it because there was time in my life I thought there's no way I'd be able to come up with something like this. But right now, it's made me very happy. It's made my family happy, and I plan on keeping it till I go. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Hello everybody, I'm Pat Guffey from Georgetown, Delaware. Uh, we'd like to take a little look and see at the uh, 65 GTO. She's had a few modifications as you can tell. Aluminum radiator, tri-power, was recently installed last winter. Fly, uh, firewall shaved, new optimum battery. And some different wheels installed this winter. I have a 
book world of progress was taking place in the car. How long ago did you get it? Uh, this was about done about 16 years ago originally. So you can see she's framed off. What's the history of the car with you? Uh, the history of the car, the car sat in a barn in North Carolina for about 50 years. And 50 years it was in the, in the barn. And my brother-in-law had purchased it and started to work on it. And he passed away. And I ended up finishing it. And I saw you had a flag on top. Oh, yes, sir. I have, I have a flag on top. It's a 48-star flag. It's, uh, it's a little ragged. Like us with the Democratic Party and destroying the United States here. <laughs> but other than that, it's all well. So, hey, I'm proud of this old flag. It's nice to be here at the car show today.
Rad Rod Bob here to introduce you to a new service from Cruising with a Z Car Shows. It's called Photo Fixer, a colorized enhancement of your car's favorite photo. So how does it work? Well, it's really easy. You'll send me your photo. I'll work my magic and send it back for your approval. Just make sure that it has a great background because Rat Rod Bob can change just about anything, but he can't change that. Here's a few before and after examples of our work. And remember, each one is a one of a kind with a cost of only $25 per photo with payment through PayPal. So shoot us an email at an address below. And as always, thanks for watching.